know, for two weeks that the single eye fixed on Jesus has really resonated in me, and, and I've been really focusing on that, and it, it's brought me to a much closer place uh, within the glory of God, the manifested presence, and I've seen it at work and with, uh, with people, but um, there's a group that I used to be a part of before I gave my heart to the Lord that didn't want anything to do with me. And about a month ago, they invited me to come over. And that was for last night. And I didn't want to go. Um, and the one that put it together kept doing that. But when I got there, I just kind of hung back and these people were talking and they they some of them are from a religion where they they are very focused on a, a prayer that they say they call it grace before dinner and this guy his wife asked me to pray over the meal before and people they just got quiet and at the end when i said in the name of jesus there was one guy at the end of the table that couldn't stop repeating the name of jesus <laughs> And the whole, the whole dynamic of that group shifted from what their hobby was to Jesus. And, you know, we were together from 1230 in the afternoon till 10 o'clock last night. Um, but as we were together, I just kept noticing people kept staring at me. And they would ask me for my opinion. And the, the more that I just stayed there... I was listening to all the brokenness in their lives, and, and I knew why I was sent there. It was to reconnect with people, not to get involved in what they were doing, but to just put Jesus up in front of them. So there, there were, and, and I knew that when I left yesterday to go there. So all we need to do is keep our eyes single fixed on Jesus. He'll fill our mouth. And if we listen and hear what's going on in their lives, they'll let us know where they need help. And God, Jesus, just, he's there in us, and it's him that does it. We don't have to do anything. We just need to stay in that river. Thank you, Pete. And you know what? When, when you get your eyes on Christ and keep him there, it's a river of testimonies. Because another thing Pete didn't share was that just this last week, God put them together with the vice president of the company he works for a big big company and he and they were going to go out to eat to have a meeting and he he asked to ride with pete and all pete did to the vice president of a big big company was to share nothing but jesus and the guy kept on drinking and drinking and drinking and wanting to know about jesus amen